Okay, if I was to ask you, how do we check the MAC addresses for the Ethernet interfaces on your Cisco email security appliance? Well, if you know it, that's good. Well, there are a couple options that I know of from the CLI that you can run these commands to get that information. So what is the first command? The first command would be etherconfig. Once you go ahead and hit enter, you'll find all these options in here. The option that we should be interested in to get that information is media. So once you run the media command, you'll find the MAC address right here. If you have multiple interfaces, you'll find the MAC addresses uh, for those interfaces in, in this output uh, accordingly. Now, there are other options available in this command, but we're not going to go through uh, these options in this video. We're, we're possibly going to go through these in the upcoming videos. Now, the other option that I want to talk about is IP check. Well, this command does not autocomplete, and therefore, if you press the tab key, as I'm pressing right now, it won't autocomplete. So you'll have to type in the whole command and then hit enter. So once you hit enter, you'll find the MAC address right here. Also, I also um, uh, actually wanted to let you know about the etherconfig command once you run this command. And if you make any change, you'll have to make sure that you run the commit command after that. OK, so the commit is required if you make any changes uh, with the etherconfig command. Also, this command is not uh, it's actually a machine level command. What do I mean by that? If I run the cluster mode command right now and I go to the cluster level, as you can see, I'm at the cluster level now. If I run this command here, it will actually throw me to the machine mode, as you can see right here. OK. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much. And you guys have a great day ahead. Goodbye.